So hello everybody, it is Power Week, so it means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update. This time it is December 2019 and there are some beautiful updates in there. Small ones, but gorgeous. I'm going to show you. So the first ones that they talk about is JSON team. We're going to talk about them tomorrow, not today. So today we're going to focus on the small jewels that are inside there. First one, KPI. KPI URL. No, no, web URL. Web URL for tables and matrix. So how does that work? Let me show you. I have here a direct query model to show you page reference later. This is the one that I was trying to do this with. And I had a lot of trouble, not because it's bad design. It's not that. It's just I did wrong. So I'm going to show you so you don't do it too. So here we have the, uh, this is a table. And uh, what we want to do is to add a web URL to a column. Why would you want to have that? Well, just as an example, this is the Northman data set. It's a products database, company's database. But they talked about this, you know, they, they have a product sales. And one of the cool things that you can do with this is if you have product specific web pages, which a lot of companies have, you can actually link to those so your team or your customers or mm -mm, can access them very, very quickly. So how do you do that? How do you implement this? I'm going to show you. So what you need is you can do either a measure or a column. I tried both because I was having trouble. So this is direct query. I can only do measures. So here's how my measure looks like. Switch through, which is if, if, you know, if this, this, otherwise that. And the problem I have is that I don't, didn't put the HTTP. You have to have HTTP, S, if it is S, or, well, often there is a redirect, so you, you should be fine. But put HTTP, otherwise it will not work. If you put it, so you go to the table, you pick the column that you want it into. So it is some product name, let's say, that I want to have it on sales too. Turn it on. It is beautifully implemented and you pick the measure that has the URL, you click OK and there you have it. How cool is that? I mean, I am thinking you can actually have it linked to a place on your SharePoint or whatever that you explain just that sale or you, you, know, you leave notes or something. That could be super awesome. I think it's great. Fantastic update. Thank you. Thank you, James. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to show you because on, because I was having an issue with the HTTPS thing. I actually tried to say, oh, maybe I need to have a, a column for that. So I created a custom column exactly same way. I didn't have HTTPS, didn't work. So I thought, oh, maybe I have to have this as a web URL. You don't. If you put HTTPS, which you have to, it works. I see it's not categorized as a URL and it works. It is a web URL column. You probably should tag it as web URL either way, but you don't have to do it just because of this. Okay, just so you know. Great. Next update from Dale. It is more formatting options for KPIs, and he's done a wonderful job. So what he's done is a possibility to do a lot of custom formatting on goals, goal names, colors, indentation. Mm. Give it a go. Wonderful. I hope a lot of us do more work on that so the visuals can get better and better. They need work. So this is a great, great update. The next one is the new decomposition tree. It has new formatting options. so You can format it as, as you want. I haven't seen any JSON for it yet, though. So if you know what it is, let me know. Filter pane toggle button in the new ribbon. It was, okay, this was a bit confusing for me too. Here's the thing. You can hide now the filter pane by clicking in there and it will hide it, not here as you can see, it's just still there, it will hide it in the service, in the cloud. When I was looking at, you know, at the release, the blog post, you know, I always, First, I read the line, the, the, you know, the, the first sentence, then I try, and if it doesn't work, I read the text, and if it doesn't work, I watch the video. Th that's the way I do it. So I watched the video. No, I, I read the test, the text, and I saw that there was like a gift doing these. And this, as you can see, hides the filter pane. I said, 
uh, now I'm confused. <laughs> okay, here's how it works. If you click in here, it will hide it in the service, but not here. To hide it here, you have to hide it in there. So there are two buttons, one for the service and one for here. So hiding it here, it doesn't hide it in the service. Are we clear? Okay, let's move on. So my favorite one, this is beautifully done. This is the lever for us to make our life easier and productivity the features, they just love them. Let me show you. That's why I had the other model because we need to have direct query to show you this. Now, uh, to get page refreshed, so to be able to have your Power BI model or report update in the desktop, if it is a direct query, there is a page refresh button here, you see it. If I turn it on, it has a default of 30 minutes. And now this is what they updated, show details. Amazing, let me show you. First of all, before to know if the feature was enabled, you have to call your administrator and say, hey, is that on? Or you try it here and you see that it doesn't work and they say, hey, <laughs> you have that on. Not anymore. It says here that the administrator has enabled that. How do they get that information? I'm guessing that if I log it out, that will disappear, hopefully, but how? <laughs> cool. I'm guessing that they can, will be able to do a lot of cool things with this. It says that the admin has said the max refresh you can set for this model is one second. Depending on traffic, depending on capacity, how they're managing, they might limit you to have it every 30 minutes or every 20 seconds or whatever it is. Talk to your admin, but you see here is not good enough. Now, actual rate, it says, I don't know. Cool, this is cool. Let me show you. This is how I got it to work. So I said, okay, how do I get, because what actual rate does is it tells you, um, how long will it take to refresh? So, you know, when you're in direct query, you say, okay, go and refresh that. So it has to go get the data, get all the queries and send you back the results. And it can take from one second to minutes or hours, depending on what you've done. So before to know how, here's the thing. And I explained that on the last part of, um, Power Week on November, you can set the duration of these for one second, but if it takes five seconds to refresh the data, what's the point? It's not going to refresh faster anyhow, right? So how do you do? How do you know how long it takes to refresh? Well, you have to go to the query, you know, the new query diagnostics things in Power Query. And then you will have to dig through the data to actually find it. It was not like super quick, super intuitive. This is amazing. Let me show you. I clicked refresh once and I thought, oh, then I will get the actual rate, right? Because it refreshed once. It didn't. So I said, okay, what happens if I force it? I, let's put it every second. And then it refreshed a couple of times, you see? Now we've got it. We've got it refreshed every 1.4 seconds, which means that if I ask it to refresh one second, for what? It's just not going to do it. So if I put two seconds in here, because I know it refreshed below two seconds, my computer crashed again. So I <laughs> discovered this. Let me show you. It suddenly goes up to two seconds. And it's because you've set it to two seconds. It's not that the actual refresh time is two seconds. If I put it to five seconds in here, it's going to, to tell you that the actual rate is five seconds, which is not true. Obviously, this is refreshing every five seconds because you told it to, but it's not the minimum refresh time that you can have. So you have to be very careful about that. Set it out always to one to see what the actual refresh time is. And once you've done that, you can adjust and then put two seconds here. Obviously, when you put two seconds, not obviously. This is, should still say 1.4 seconds, but I'm guessing it's getting the data live. So now it's every two seconds either way, because that's what you're requesting to the server. And then the last time it was refreshed, so you know when it will refresh the next time. I love it. 
I love it, except for this small thing that, you know, doesn't give you the actual rates all the time. This is fantastic. It's just so gorgeous. You, you get all the information you need there. You don't have to call nobody. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to go to no query, nothing. I'm in love with this feature. It's just beautifully implemented. Whoever did it, well done. Amazing. Now, load more for analyze insights. This confused me deeply. I'm <laughs> going to show you. Here's the thing. When I was doing this video about it, I crashed. You know, I was doing it here on the query. It's like, what is the analyze feature? It's like, oh, it's, you know, it's not available on all graphs. So it's like, oh, on the query, forget it. Not there. And on report server, it is on the desktop version, but not up there. So you're out of luck if you want to do it there. No, let's go to my import model because I can show you there. So here we have it. And then we have it. In here, analyze, find what the distribution is different. And the explanation was confusing for me. Did you see there was a button in here? Maybe I should do it again. Let me try it again and see if you grab, if you see the button. This refreshes too fast. So no, it remembers that I've done something already. Let me try this. You'll see, no, it's too fast. Okay, so here's the thing, it says that um, the machine learning models, they run only for a period of time to show you insights in a timely manner. What does that mean? Uh, it says then that you can use, the, it will show up if it's not refreshed in a timely manner, whatever that means, you will get here a play button so you can say play it again, do it again. They are talking about timeout. I, I don't know what it means. What? I saw here again when I couldn't do it on the title I went in here and it says the analysis completed processing 50% of the data so maybe and I don't know if this is true maybe what they mean is that they are using sample data to run the analysis and if you have a lot of data they're using sample data so if you wanted to have more data if you wanted to use maybe everything or more you can just click on the play button and it will grab more my best guess guys i don't know just let me know what you think <laughs> let me know if you if you read this in another way that makes more sense to you it does not for me so so you'll be able to use the play button to continue running the analysis running what when does it stop it's got to be that that is sampling the data and then you can tell them to to try more, to test more. Test it in your models, let me know. You probably have bigger models to play with. Okay, so uh, there is a new DAX function called Quarter that I'm not going to review on Friday. I have another video prepared for that. So, but Quarter, I mean, it's Quarter, it gives you a quarter. So we should be okay. Probably at some point if we need to do Quarter somewhere, I'll show you. Um, and that's it. That's basically the updates for today. My favorite one, page refresh. Which one is your favorite? I think that was beautifully, beautifully implemented. Now, I'm going to run to the Discord server to ask you guys what you thought about the updates. Which one is your favorite? If you know what Discord server is, I set up a, like a chat platform for us to talk. So talking on YouTube comments is not the best way. So we've been having that for almost a day we're having lots of fun conversations there is a link down below click on there join us on the chat say hi i'm loving it you guys are amazing thank you so much for joining and i will see you again tomorrow with the json update and also the power bi 101 course that we're running and on friday so lots of videos as always so take care i'll see you tomorrow Enjoy the December update. Let me know what you think of this update and bye bye. I'll see you tomorrow.